Welcome to Forum 19, Can We Talk? Dialogue and Debate in the Contemporary Academy. This is the third of our annual BU Center for the Humanities forums on major topics of academic and public interest. Since I became director of the center in June 2016, we have been pursuing ambitious programming in great part because we have recognized increasingly in recent years the need to make a case for the humanities, to reaffirm the value, importance, and cultural centrality of our various disciplines of art history, classics, history, languages and linguistics, literature and philosophy. We see the need to remind people of the value of what we do as humanists as an opportunity. Self-definition is invigorating, as is the effort to promote to a global world that sometimes seems increasingly inhumane, the insights of the humanities and their role in cultivating thoughtful and empathetic citizens. To this end, our first forum in fall 2017 focused on libraries and archives in the digital age. And our second in fall 2018 addressed humanities approaches to the opioid crisis. For each event, we partnered with local institutions, such as the Boston Public Library and the mayor's office, and with representatives of national institutions, such as the NIH and the National Library of Argentina. And the collaborations have themselves led to student internships and further programming that confirm what those engaged in humanities fields have to offer a wider public, and also how much we in the academy can benefit from reaching beyond our institutional borders. But this year, we decided to look inward, to find a topic for our forum that would serve the BU community and encourage self-reflection. And there seemed to us no subject more compelling and critical to the lives of those who work in all parts of our university than that of dialogue and debate. What can be said and who can say it, and what is rarely discussed out of fear that it will create conflict. Recently, in a class I was teaching on Twain's Huckleberry Finn, a student characterized the raft in the novel, Huck and Jim's refuge, created from throwaway bits of lumber as a safe space that enables their friendship and ability to begin to think differently about race. Though Twain believed in his drifting utopia, the novel also reveals that there are no safe spaces. The king and duke are always around the next river bend, along with other emissaries from the novel's fraught social world. More importantly, the prevailing hostilities and cruelty endure in the minds of Huck and Jim, posing continuous threats to their intellectual and psychological enlightenment. I recognize the same is true of the thought experiment we are conducting today with this forum. I see this forum as an urgent reboot of the more general role that universities, at their best, are thought to play in society. A place where ideas, beliefs, foundational opinions are articulated, tested, challenged, and revised. And yet, one reason we have convened this forum is our general recognition of how difficult this has become for all of us how difficult it has become to talk honestly about the ideas and beliefs that mean the most, how difficult it has become to address the issues that affect us deeply in the workplace. 
how difficult it has become to acknowledge the serious divisions created by our different institutional positions and perspectives. This sense of urgency has guided our choice of panels, each of which is designed to include the voices of people representing various institutional positions at our university and holding as a result a variety of perspectives on the issues. In each panel, administrators, faculty of different levels, junior, senior, adjunct, emeritus, staff, graduate students, come together to confront a key academic and or institutional issue. Some of the issues we've highlighted in our panels have received a lot of attention. The challenge of teaching controversial texts at this historical moment is something the Modern Language Association has addressed extensively. And there are many books about the tensions between administrators and faculty at universities today. Others are more typically swept under the rug or politely overlooked. The prevailing labor inequities at our institution, the differences in pay scale, both within ranks and according to function, the fact that the opinions of some in our university hierarchy are typically solicited and heard, and those of others typically overlooked. The class disparities among our students at all levels, with some beyond comfortable and some literally going hungry. A few guidelines for how we will proceed. Each panel moderator will introduce the panel briefly. Then each panelist will speak for five minutes. The presentations are intentionally brief to allow time for discussion among panelists and with the audience. After the five presentations on each panel, the moderators will provide summaries of the panel's main points, and then we will ask the panelists to respond to each other. This will be followed by audience questions and responses. We will have microphones in the audience. They're on these two sides, and we ask that you speak into them to pose your questions. We will also be taking questions using an interactive polling app called Slido, which you can access on your phone's web browser, tablet, or laptop at slido.com. Then enter the code, hashtag BUCH103, for this event. We encourage you to submit questions to panelists and or in response to questions raised throughout the day. Your responses and comments will help shape the focus of our roundtable discussion scheduled for 3.45 to 5 p.m. I want to thank the members of the Forum 19 Planning Committee, Abigail Gilman, Nasli Kibria, Mo Lee, Jeff Rubin, Peter Schwartz, and Greg Williams, whose ideas and hard work were instrumental. I also want to thank Gloria Waters and the Provost's Office, and Stan Sklaroff and the CAS Dean's Office for their generous support and co-sponsorship of this event. Nothing we do at the Humanities Center is possible without the truly extraordinary work of our head administrator, Tamsin Flanders. Our fabulous graduate student intern, Christine Doria, has also contributed in manifold ways to this event, as have our undergraduate staff members, Daria Lugina, Hannah Kinney Cobre, and Mari Rooney, and our new administrative coordinator, Ashley Mulcahy. Many thanks to all of them and to the team at CitySpace. Let me close with an obvious but all important point. Without listening 
there can be no genuine dialogue and debate. And listening to each other is the most important thing that we can all do today. Thank you.